to say this, uh, losing graciously to probably the finest football team, oh, set of football teams, blah, 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 blah. So very unlucky for uh, the guys, the guy Southgate, so, uh, but that's it now, lose graciously, what can I say? There was no such thing as losing gracefully? Well. Where do you come from? <laughs> Germany. Tell me best, come on, you just rub it in. Uh, right then, right then. Uh, questions? Um, I'll be out soon. <laughs> no, I'm um, really looking forward to coming out to everywhere, not just Germany, a whole world. I want to be uh, seen and heard as an artist and uh, in a professional light and also have a lot of fun along the way. I'm dying oh, to get out all over the place. Yes, mate? Goal-scoring hero of charity football matches. Uh-huh. You recently did a spin on Breakfast TV. There'll be, a, there'll be an opportunity for questions in a few minutes, so if you could just... Who are you? We'll have the floor for a minute. Who are you? What was that all about? What? You're here to ask me questions. <laughs> I'll, tell, no, I'll tell you what we all do. I'll tell you what we all do. We all get in a circle and kick each other's heads in the chair. That's what I reckon. Eh? No, no, please, because you, you, remember, you remember the media, you remember the press, and you're asking me questions, aren't you? So go ahead. So, recently you did a spin on Breakfast TV, and rather well for a newcomer to the medium. Thank you. Do you not fancy a future in that line of activity? With or without, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 Intriguing. Uh, I don't know, really. I don't know. What, I'm, I'm just concentrating on music at the minute. I'm not just going. I'm not going to uh, strike out the possibility of doing anything. I'm not going to do television for a while. That's for certain. I've got to write an album. You know, there's big hype surrounding all of this. I've got to write it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Music's music. Uh, no. Sorry? But, uh, it's, it's a 12 inch remix. But, but, but. Shani, you all be quiet. I can't hear him. Go on. Go on. I mean, if you go with the Oasis, there's lots of speculation that uh, maybe Noel Gallagher would write you a song. Is that going to happen? I suppose you've got to um, roll with it, really. You've got to take your time. <laughs> Say what you're saying about anybody get in the way. <laughs> I don't know. There might be. There might not be. Um, that's. I'd. I, Noel said that he's, you know, quite willing. Right. We're quite willingly write me a song, but we just see what happens. There's a lot of people out there, not just Noel. Do you know what I mean? I'd love for Noel to write me a song, but uh, we will just see how it happens. I might not need it. <laughs> I like a bonus to write me a song instead, or even Gwigsy to do me like an ambient house mix. Apple of days. Is Freedom Nighting an interesting event? Uh, night of six, actually. Six year void is just missed out. What you want? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it is going to be the first single. I was thinking of doing a version of Sack for Go Back for Good. But, uh... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For my next number. No, it's Freedom Nighting, so that's what's coming out. Two, two, one, two, Robbie in the house. It's me, it's me, Robbie. Oh, I am, mate. Do you feel any animosity to your ex-members that take that? Um, I am a scouser, I'm sorry for that. Yes, that's all right. We'll have our crosses to bear. Thank you. Um, no, I'd, you see, the thing that's gone on in the past with everything, I suppose when you're feeling an emotion, whatever emotion you're feeling at the time, you've got to get it out as a, as a catharsis really. And I've done a lot of slagging off in the press. I know there hasn't been a lot of positivity to the people that I used to be with. 
to tell you the truth, I'm over all that now. This is the future. I did an interview the other day, and I was um, talking about all the lads. You know, sometimes like, interviews are like um, psychotherapy in ways. Do you know what I mean? And I was talking about the lads and just like all about good times, really. And that's what I want again. I wouldn't mind meeting up with them all. Maybe not the manager. <laughs> I'd like, like to meet up with the manager in a forklift truck. <laughs> Suit up to go to about 150 miles an hour and not stop. No brakes. Robbie. I didn't mean it. Uh, Robbie. Uh, Robbie. Uh, Robbie. Uh, Robbie. What do you think of Gary's single? Eh? What do you think of Gary's single? Um. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you, okay, to tell you. Another question, then. To, yeah. Oh, in a minute. Oh. Tell you the truth, Gary's single. Um. I, I, well, it's like this, right? I'd love to say it's it's not my cup of tea, but it's all right. But in fact, it's awful. And the thing is, no, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out before you before you carry on. It's not me slagging him off again. It's like this. I know what Gary's capable of, and um, I've heard all this stuff that he's got coming out because he kept it for himself. So I've heard it all, and um, he's got tunes that are like back for good and more. And I don't understand the tack with the record company or him in releasing this um, song. That's what, that is song. But you, you know what? The next follow-up single is going to be fantastic and Gary's going to have a really good career. I'm sure of it. Uh, Robbie, just wondering, uh, rumour has it you're with uh, Christmas Records. Could you confirm? And how much is the price of freedom? <laughs> you are. <laughs> I see you only just arrived. <laughs> to live in this country. <laughs> We've been lying to everyone for ages. Uh, yes, I am in, uh, I'm in the capable hands of the man JF there, set on the French shirt. Uh, I have got a new family. They are chrysalis, and the price of freedom is a frozen packet of peas in the smaz bar from down the corner shop. <laughs> it was all signed into the contract. Did George Michael give you any advice on uh, moving out of the populace of the TV band and doing something more? Whatever. You're not going to mention it, are you? Wait, 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 heckling, 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 I understand heckling. In a minute, in a minute, I've got to answer this chap's question, don't I? I've had all the pies. No, I've, I've, I have had all the pies. That's what I've been doing since I've left Take That. I've been, I've been, I've been pie eating. Got any tell? The bats, shut up. Back to the George Michael question. Sorry, yeah, the pies around the back just being warmed. <laughs> the George Michael question. Um, no, he didn't give me any advice. Contrary to popular belief, uh, to, to, George Michael didn't say it, tell me to go, go. <laughs> that was a clever one, whoever wrote that in the headlines. <laughs> no, he's, he's um, I, he, he didn't give me any advice, no, he just, he just, we just, the weekend, the weekend that I left stroke sacked from the band, um, I went, I went away, and he was there, and we just chatted. And of course, if anybody's going to know how, what the dealings with uh, record companies are like, or leaving bands, it's going to be him. So I mean, whatever advice you give. We're talking about record companies, football, fruit. <laughs> aubergine. Is an aubergine a fruit? Is an aubergine a fruit? Well, it is now. Robbie, Robbie, you got a, have you got any messages to me, Bob? Yes. Pardon? Is that Paul Martin? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear what I do now? Wait, wait a sec. Go on, Paul, speak to the crowd. This is all, everybody. Go and miss your teeny bop years. Go and miss your teeny bop years. And would you piss on Gary if he was on fire? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. First of all, let me just say that uh, when my single goes to number one, I'm sure he will be on fire. So if he, if he wants to come round, and he, uh, oh, that'll be left between me and Gary. And when I miss the teeny bop years, I ain't going nowhere from teeny bop years. I'm just going straight into any genre, really. I understand what you're saying about teeny bop years, Paul, with you being from the Malady Maker and that, and not from like Smash Hits or Big or anything like that. I know you've got to keep right on and be trendy and cool there. I don't, no, I'm not going to miss the teeny bop years at all. They're not going to go anywhere. It's, it's just me now. Robbie, Shut up. Robbie, have you got any plans to move back to Stoke on Trent? Who's that? <laughs> BBC Radio Stoke. Oh, bless. <laughs> well, move, move.
about the Stoke on Trent. Um, do you know, you know, as you know when you're growing up and you'll know yourself, because I'm sure you moved out of the area as well. I've been there for 22 years. <laughs> no. I've been there for 22 years and, um, you know, you, you just need some fresh air and you just need some fresh legs. I've come down to London, it's like stepping into the lion's den, man, you know what I mean? You can go out whenever you want and it's not just like the Mill Hill Tavern. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything's down here, you've got bunkers! <laughs> So I, I eventually will move back into Stoke, or the Stoke-on-Trent area, but not for a while. Got a very big house in the country to buy. Hey, Robbie. Um, Jeff Lurie from the north, I've been told to say. Um, what is your favourite colour of eyeshadow? Is it that purple there? <laughs> nice. Did you, think, did you think all that up coming down on the train then? Was that your big moment? Was that it? Could you thought of anything better? No, 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 no. I was like, I'm going to have my first pint. Right. Next question. Well, we jumped in all, jumped in all from the Daily Record in Scotland. Uh, just want to ask, who are your favourite live act? And I was just trying to say thanks for your support. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I imagine you're talking about Team Park last year, Robbie, but who are your, who's your favourite live act and why? My favourite live act? Um, <laughs> I've got a funny story, right? In fact, it's nothing to do with that. <laughs> Straight to God, right? I know some, you're talking about live acts, right? And this is not just a true story. I know somebody whose grandfather spontaneously combust just walking down the street. That's a live act, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's got... Hey, high comedy! See the ratings plummet! It's, um, it's got to be Oasis. It's got to be Oasis. Robbie! Where did I pull out? I didn't pull out, actually. I uh, didn't actually agree to do it. And, and also, I had to do this. Do you know what I mean? I've been away for I've been away constantly, constantly battling to do this. When did you start reading the gay press? <laughs> when did you start? We did many an interview with the gay press. No, you never did one. You did one in balance when you were sort of hogging around on Gotham Street. And you did one that's more different. Actually, you've never done a specific gay... There's two. There's, there's two for you then. <laughs> no, one was more different. One was when you were doing a TV shoot and someone mobbed in. Um, I'll just say, read Attitude tomorrow. Guess who's on the front cover? Eight pages. Really nice interview. <laughs> <to> me. <laughs> from TCC, um, when do you think you're going to be starting touring? Are you? Well, I'll be, I'll when, you when are you likely to start touring? Have you made any plans about it yet? I've not made any plans really, it's just been so difficult trying to get me shit together if you like to get this out. I'm just going to go away to write now and uh, there is definitely going to be a live show and a live act and um, I guarantee you it, w it will be, it will be quite an event but when it's going to happen I don't know. Hey? I'm going to come back and play in a little tap. I'm going to play on the pool table. Free room. So? I don't know, it just depends on record coming at me to go. I'm going to bring back into pop. I don't know, wait and see, I mean, like, we can talk about this first video. I'm, I'm going to go away and redo the video as well. I'm going to put them down another day with a fan, so it makes me look as I'm a real artist. And, uh, joking. And, uh, what was the question? Oh, I'm going to bring back into the park. Well, you can just see from the video, there's, like, charisma in there, I hope. A bit of a laugh. And it's, it's not all about being serious. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of fun to be had in any walks of life. And I hope to bring uh, fun back into pop. I hope to bring fun back into anything that I've done. Because I'm cheaply shackled, Robbie. Robbie? Robbie? Julia Babbery from GMTV. Who else? Which other band members? Ex take that band members who think will succeed besides Gary? Do you think the other guys will succeed? It just depends which, 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 what you mean succeeding. Jason's got a really good painter and decorator, I'm sure. Um, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's up to say, I think, uh, mate, I, I don't know, to tell you the truth, it's up to, it's up to a lot of uh, hard work, good record company, good management, and um, 
a lot of luck, so it's up to them really. Do you know I'm doing a cover version? Because I can. <laughs> and that's it. Robin, Elsa, for watching you. Gary wants to be Elton John, so who would you like to be? I want to be Robbie Williams. <laughs> Robin, who will Robbie Williams be? Who will Robbie Williams be? Go and ask Robbie Williams. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, what, what do you mean to be, to be more specific about it? What's your future plans for you? What's your future plans for me? That's my image. I don't know, I've changed all the time. I don't know what it's going to be. I'll keep it a secret. Robbie, a secret. Robbie, what's your biggest uh, weakness? My biggest weakness? Dead in the church. Ooh, what suits me? Robbie, went from King of O3. Nice. It matters, Ted. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your support as well, Robbie. Yes. I stand on that and see you then. Mm. Uh, there's been a few rumours about you doing duets with people. Is there anyone you'd like to do a duet with? Who's that woman, David? Just tell us. I'll tell you what. What a duet. Oh, Robbie! <laughs> Robbie! Me! Me! Me who? Tim Galloway from North South London Aberdeen. Yes? Do you ever have a mistake for the new single? Um, 29th. What's the 29th? 29th of this month, is it? July. July. Say finger on the button. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. As normal, Robbie prevails. Robbie. Are you going to come up to tea in the park this year? You had such a good time last summer. Joe, I did have such a good time. You see, the thing is, I, like, I, I won, thank you, the MA. I won the, like, the Ligger of the Year award last year. And um, the, 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 oh, I read in the newspaper that the favourite T-shirts for the festivals this year was, I'm with Robin Williams. So I don't think I'll be turned up. I might turn up in a disguise. Boot you. On there. Uh, a bit like someone else is wearing at the minute. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, Matt, no, they're sure. Guys, <laughs> Guys, new figure. What, Dawn? <laughs> She's beautiful! The guy's new figure. It's boss, I prefer the way it was fat. No, it's it, Gary, fair play, fair play to the man. It was like, that's you. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's wicked, I hope it keeps it up. <laughs> Next question. Robin, you tell me you directed your video? Oh. Next question. No, sorry, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a lovely group of lads called Hammer and Tongue. And, um, what other group of lads they have? Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> no, just another one. Uh, they, they, it's hammer, these guys put Hammer and Tongue and uh, got on with them really well. We shot um, a bit of it out in Miami. And then we shot, then we shot Miami and then we came to Acton. <laughs> Acton as a suicide pact with Miami to have a twin with it. How romantic. <laughs> Next question. Robert, the album out? Um, the album's going to be called... <laughs> I don't know when the album's going to be out yet. I don't know when the album's going to be out at all. It's going to be, it's going to be sometime early next year. And, uh, and the title is, I'm going to tell you, I forgot to. Go tell me. The show off must go on. All right, then I'll change it. Who's the manager? Can you come stand on stage, please, Tim? This is Don Abbott. Sort of a man that is on time. In an ideal world, why don't you take that? What would you like 
I didn't know I was going to do it. I was going to come to a tournament when I was 12. I was going to be a millionaire, an international superstar by the time I was 22, and I was. And I had no doubt in my mind that I was going to do it. And I also have no doubt now that I'm going to carry on with being a huge star again. There's no doubt. Are you still friendly with Mark Owen? Hey, I'd love to be friendly with Mark Owen. I think everybody needs a little time to see what went on in the past and re-evaluate certain situations. And I'm just giving Mark a little bit of time to realise what went on and get everything straight in his own head. Because I don't want to be going back to talk to Mark Owen and just take that Mark Owen. I want to speak to Mark Owen because we made it. I will speak to Mark Owen. Just, I really miss him. I do. Whenever, whenever it happens, it happens when, whenever it happens. Mrs. McGarry? Where's my mobile phone? They made me a mobile phone. I've got no Mrs. McGarry, just um, also with us. I'd like to see you too. I'd like to see you in the church. Got a message to Howard? Like to, 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 to Howard? To Howard? Have I got a message for Howard? Cool, yeah. I am, huh? About the fourth time. No, I've got my message to him all is, is good luck, really. I've got to have you do, you succeeded. Because um, you can follow me. <laughs> you can really sit a new break. And everybody's running around trying to find out what I'm going to sound like. With the 30 songs, I've tried to be as broad and uh, as, I don't know, I, I've tried to, to, to deal with every uh, music sound. And I'm still trying to find out a uh, sound for myself. Every, everything that I've been writing ranges from Black Break to, I don't know, I'll fit Gerald. Robbie. See. Robbie. Yeah. Gina, 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 Where are What's the best and worst thing that you've learned from hanging out with the Gallagher's? The best and worst thing that you've learned from the Gallagher's? Um,